Hey guys, I wanted to bring you the second part of an episode where a young man called in and spoke with Jesse and um, Jesse um, told him, hey, look, you've been convinced by your mother that you hate your father. That's not your anger. It's your mother's anger. And now the very next day, the call, the caller's mother called in to confront Jesse and uh, on what Jesse said to her son. And I'm going to put this part of the episode up now. But hey, guys, if you would, please hit the like button and subscribe to my content. Thank you. This is out of Florida. Happy May and History Month, Candice. Yes, how are you? All is well. Happy, Happy May and History Month. Month. Yeah, man's history, women's history. I'm talking about no, my history. No, it's not women's history. It's men's history. Okay, well, whatever you say, in your world, it's men's history. But not but in yours? I'm, in my, yeah, it could be men's history. I mean, everybody has a history. Are you celebrating men's history. history? Are you celebrating men's history with us? No, I'm not. I'm celebrating something else, but... Why are you not, why you're not celebrating men's history with us? I didn't even know that was a national holiday, Men's History Month. Yeah, oh, August. Yeah, August is Men's History Month. Oh, well, congratulations to all the men. Thank for you. Whatever history they have. That's amazing. Thank you, Candace. Are you a first-time caller? No, I called in before. Okay. And my son called yesterday, and you made a derogatory <laughs> comment that I was crazy from keeping him from his father, who is incarcerated. And for you to say that, you don't even know me unless you know of me, but to don't say have that to. I kept him from his father. I don't even think you know the whole story or for you to make that comment that I'm crazy. Who was your son? Chancellor. Uh, oh, Ch Chancellor from yesterday. I kind of yeah. remember that. And yeah, so he, he told me that it. he told me that you kept him from his father. Turn him, turn him away from his father? I don't remember no, the conversation. Told, yeah, he couldn't have told you that. Because what did he I tell did me was, that you turned him away from his father? Did he tell no, me he that? Did, no, he didn't tell you that. What did he, how do you know he didn't tell me that? Because I heard the conversation what, yesterday. What did he tell me? No, he didn't say that. You, he, he was talking about fathers. And you, I mean, I don't know what he's talking about. I remember. but you What did he say? Tell me what I he said. What did you say yesterday? I don't even remember. Is he it's there that, right now? Yes, he's here right here. Let me ask him, and then I'll come Hold back on. to you. Hello? What did you say, Chancellor, when you about... I was, tell, I, I was telling you that how can you talk about a dad, but what if the mother is a good mother, but the dad is a deadbeat dad? Oh, oh, I remember you now. Hey, that's what you it, just that's like your mama. Is. <laughs> no, how he like me when the first of all, what whatever I instill, I always instill in my son. I have two sons that I let them see for themselves how their father is. I took him to go see his father. I called his father on numerous occasions to come pick him up. And what make it so bad, to make a long story short, his father keeps calling, writing letters, trying to apologize and say what a great, wonderful woman I am. And he apologized to me for, for he said, I see what you was trying to do. Do you believe you're a you know, wonderful woman? Do I believe I'm a wonderful No, I have faults. What's your faults? I have I have. Oh, trust me, I, I have faults. Everybody what are they? faults. What no are one, your faults? No one's perfect. No what, one's perfect. What are your faults? Mistakes. Like what? Mistakes. Like what? This other, this, this personal, just mistakes in life that I and made procrastinating and mistakes. That, Have that, you that, apologized to your son for the mistake you made with him? I never made no mistakes with him. You made no mistake with your son at all? I never, I'm, you think I've made a mistake with no, him? No, I'm asking I you, never, not him. No, 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 I never made a mistake. You only, never only made only one mistake. mistake with your son. See, this right here, it's like, you can't even admit that you have turned your son against his father and you know, by talking bad about the father by by not allowing the son to to have a relationship that's not dependent upon your feelings with his father 
and and you tainted your son. You you have made your son weaker. It's like that's one thing I don't think women understand when they when they talk bad about the father, when they when they turn their their kids against her father, um, and then and they use her own anger towards you know to 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 make a case for their kids to hate the father. They're poisoning. They're poisoning their own kids. It's like you can't. You're poisoning your kids, and, and you know it's like I, I don't. I don't know if these these women understand. I guess they don't. You know, maybe some do, but you know, it's like I don't. You guys don't know what you're doing in, in a lot of ways. You're you're setting your kids up for failure, especially your boys. Son. Not that I can recall. You're not being honest. The uh, only thing, only thing I think I can say our mistake was is probably being a little too strict. So but did you make a mistake uh, or not? Then you said you didn't. Now you say you're too strict. Mean, if you want to consider that a mistake, then I'll say. Was it a mistake. mistake to be too strict with him? Huh? Was sometimes, it? Huh? Sometimes you, sometimes you have to learn, let a child learn in life. You understand, and let them go out and make their. Was it a mistake, mistake? I, I, for you to I, be too I, strict I, with him? Because I was too overly <coughs> protective. Candace, because the Candace, world is so crazy. Candace, yes. was it a mistake to be too strict with him? Um. Yeah, I can say that. Yes. Did you apologize to him for that? Yes. And why? Why was it? Why do you say it was a mistake now? Not not a mistake now. He's he's. You know what I'm. You know what I'm gonna tell you like this. It's not a mistake now that I was too strict for him. Like close. Like being strict on him. Yes, it was a mistake listen, now listen, because he's say, weak. Wait, can I say that? No, no, no. He's not weak. He's very That's, weak. That, no, 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 no. My son yeah. is a very, 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 very strong person. No, he's not. He's just like yeah. his mama. He's so, yeah, it's we. If you're mad and you're angry, it's, uh, uh, that's one thing that people don't seem to get, don't seem to understand. And I think that's something. And I'm not saying that I move beyond this, but I think there's something that people have got to understand, myself included, like that. If you have anger and hatred in your heart. And, and and you you're mad at the world and you're mad at people and you are weak. You have a weakness, and that weakness is that anger, is that pain. You're not allowing things to flow through you. You are nowhere near um, the person you could be. And um, but in this culture, we think the the strong person is the one that walks around angry. And that's not true at all. Listen to me. He's strong to see what the world is going to today. What, how the people are today. What's going on out there in society. My son is a black Republican. He can't sing for Trump. He goes, he's a boxer. He travels to Vegas. He is doing his thing. But your he son has your person. identity. Yeah. I'm, you know what? I'm glad he has my identity than, than having his dad, who's a murderer, identity. But his, he has an educated identity, <laughs> so I'm glad he has my identity because if he lives has his father's identity, he would be. No, he identifies with you. What he, what he's saying is he 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 whatever your anger and your pain is, he's identifying with that. He's taking that upon himself. It's not his own. It's yours. And he is taking the pain and the anger that you have and the hatred you have, and he's moving that along to the uh, the next generation. You know, it's like, I don't think she understands what he means by this. Right, probably now, in, <coughs> in, 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 in prison. But, that's what I, but having but your like, identity... Tell me, what do you mean by he's weak? Like, what are your, what are you, what are you, because you don't really know him, but what are you, what is he is getting his weak? He has his mother identity, so he is a woman, not a man. No, no, no. How does he have his woman, how does he have my identity? In what way could you explain to me that he has a woman 
way. By you being so overprotective while he was growing up, it was your fears and you okay, imposed. You, okay, hold on, but, Candace. But hey, hey, okay. hold on. Okay. You asked me, hold on. I'm listening. Uh, no, you're not listening. Hold on. Um, you impose your will on him, causing him to become angry at you, and he became, you become like whomever you're angry at. You know how you just like your mama? He became like you because he became but angry. But how do you know he's angry? He's not angry. And that's all the way that he can become like you. He had yeah, your how, identity. But, he, but he's not even angry. Everybody knows yes, he's he he is. the friendliest child no, in the world. He's a, <laughs> But you don't know him to say he's oh, angry. Oh, I know him. I talked to him yesterday and just now. He just like, he sound like you. His and emotional. He's angry. Yes. <laughs> and he's emotional. How is he? Here's something, I, you know, it's like, it bothers me that people, I understand she doesn't want to admit what's going on, but it's like, she doesn't want to even entertain the idea that her child is suffering, her son is suffering, and, and, you know, and he could be let free if he just realizes that he's angry. He's angry at his mother, her, because of, the, of, of her blocking him from, from being his own man in a way. And, and he's angry at the father, and he needs to forgive the mother and the father and that she messed up. But it's like the, these women are so identified with that, the ego part of them or whatever that they can't, they can't even realize, you know what? Yeah. You know, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I've messed up. I've messed up and I'm, I'm still messing up. I'm still messing up with the kids with my kids and and you know it's like I'm passing that anger upon them and I can't I can't let my ego down to go enough to 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 understand that. I can't I've got to argue and argue and argue and argue and argue that point. And they can't even understand that a part of the arguing is ego. You know, they're they're so attached to that part. That um, you know, it's like they they yeah they 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 don't get it. Emotional. Just like your mama, if you notice, he can't tell you the truth about yourself unless he's angry at you. Right. But he won't be honest with you that you're controlling. You're very willful. Huh, you're, how am I controlling when I sit up here and let him do whatever he wants to do? Well, you but can't he, stop him so now. He's a man. Right. He's an adult. He, yeah. Not a man, right. but an adult. adult. That's right. And but he's learned the way how people are. Candace. He is an educated, truly strong black man. No, no so such thing. Him. No, he's he not. He doesn't have a criminal record. He listen, he doesn't have a criminal record. He's a Republican. He's black. That doesn't and make him a man. Listen to, me. listen to me. And also Candace, he knows none of those the things the make him a man. Yes, he does. yes. Oh yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Trust me. No. The belief of the listen, Candace, the belief. Calm down. Hey, calm uh, down. That doesn't make him a man. He got to be, he got to make. You know, again, I got to add something to that. You know, when he's talking about controlling and everything else, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, even in my own life, you know, I, again, I get that. It's like the, um, the, the, the mother, the mother wants to control all aspects of, their son's life, even when the son is, you know, 20, 25, 30 years old, it's like, you know, the, the, you know, wants to dictate who he dates and how he dates and what his sex life is. And, and, you know, it's like, that is something that I, I, and of course they never want to understand that what they're doing is wrong. You know, even if they're trying to, "Quote unquote," save their 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 son. They are doing something wrong. They're stepping into somewhere they should never step into, and um, it's like they're they're hurting their child, their son, who is no longer a child, and they're hurting themselves because there's no part of them that wants to admit that what they're doing 
is all of the ego, is to all this show, is all this. Um, and, and then when they get yelled at or told to go away or, or cut out of their child's life, they pretend they're the victim. And, and what they also do is they end up trying to get other people. They try to enlist an army. They try to get other people on their side to back them up against their their son. And normally they 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 try to enlist the support of other uh, siblings, uh, of other uh, other kids, uh, their other kids, and um, you know, family friends, family members, um, neighbors, whoever they can get people in their church, whoever they can get to, to, to bolster their side of things. And, and, you know, it's really kind of a dangerous thing. And I think, um, in many ways, young men need to, need to get as far away as they can of their mother, especially when their mother's that way and learn to forgive their mother and forget their father for not standing up to their mother, you know, and, and saying not at all because the the their fathers, you know, they they haven't healed their own um, relationship with their mothers, with their mothers. So they're they're kind of um, acting that out with their wives, and and. And, and, and they need sex and they want sex and everything else. And they know, they figure that if they tell their wife, stop it, cut it out, no, what you're doing is wrong, then they're cutting themselves off from mama's love and sex and everything else. And, and by standing up to their wives. So, you know, and I think it's a cycle. <laughs> That repeats and repeats and repeats. But uh, hey, look, guys, if you would, please like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>